last time on Survival of the Dumbest. Biggest problem we got are these doors. The door warehouse. So let's go. Field trip. Not for everyone. Someone has to watch the house. Catch back. There's way more than I thought there was going to be. Let me try. God damn it. I never get to fall into the hand. Yeah. Cassidy King. So, do you want to do it or should I? If he turns, then I'll shoot him. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Until then, we're going to wait and see what happens. Dude, we have to get home. We have things to take care of. If we don't get home soon, with a door, the house might be overrun by the time we get back. Don't say that. Guys, we're in a door factory. Let's go look. Alright, call Derek. Don't mention the girl. Don't mention Derek to her. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Thank God for that. breathing, but if he doesn't get some proper food and bandages soon, he's going to be in some real trouble. Look, if he turns... He's not going to turn. Alright? I'll say that. He's going to be fine. He always makes it out of these stupid scrapes. Always. Okay, look. It seems like you guys have known each other for a while, maybe even before all this happened, but... You have to realize that nobody here is safe. No one's immune. No one's immortal. It just sucks to lose somebody you care about. You know. We need to get that truck moving. Fine. The first sign of danger, we can't handle, I'm back in. Fair enough. Hey. I'm locking the door behind me.
Cassidy, when you ever get the burn. Last one in, gets the door. I love you, man. Here, take that. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on to your butts. There's more of you, aren't there? Jenner, Jenner. House surrounded by zombies. There. Yeah. So let's go. Look, there's no way that you can walk there. And there's way too many of them. We don't have the ammo, we can't make it. So what do we do? We leave. They need not another word out of you. I don't know if Derek's gonna be okay. I mean, we can leave. We probably should. But if you think that we can get inside, then I'm ready to try. There's nothing to talk about. Let's go. Are, are you guys really this dumb, or are you just fucking with me? Dumb as hell.
Shane, if you'd be so kind as to help me carry Xander's sorry ass. Uh, you gotta be kidding. No, uh, I'm leaving. Right now. Uh, on foot? At night? You're almost out of ammo. Guys, the zombies are that away. I'm gonna go this way. You son of a bitch. That's a woman. Um, yeah. Derek? Cassidy? Cassidy? Derek? What the hell? Xander's hurt. We gotta go. How'd you get the house, Derek? You don't know, dude. Yeah, we do. A broom, a coffee pot, and a broken glass. Sounds badass. Lemon pie. <sighs> Jesus, this really is survival of the dumbest, isn't it? Come on, guys, let's go. There's enough of us now. Go where? Where else? Oh. No way, Derek. It's done, man. What? But... But that's home. Not anymore. But we can't just let them have it. We have to. It's not worth dying over. We were only gonna go in there to get you, bud. You're leaving? Uh, look, um... You, you guys seem nice. O honestly, you do. I... Well, the truth is... You're dangerous and sloppy. I, I, I can't stay here. Derek, it, it was nice to meet you. Um, you'll excuse me. So that's just it? Just barge into our lives in a scurry way as soon as you start to take a shine to us? Look, um, who knows? Maybe we'll see each other again sometime. I mean, I hope that we do. Until then, you know, it could be a nice story about how I met the three luckiest boys on the planet. Everything you do should get you killed, and somehow you make it out alive. Hell, maybe it's all those video games. I'll never understand it. But, um, I'm really glad that I met you guys. I just... I just know what happens when you get too close to people. Good riddance. Where are you gonna go? Have you looked around lately? Not exactly the safest place to be alone right now. I was fine before I met you guys. I'll be fine without you. Figured. Alright, fine. You win. Hell yeah. We're going with you. What? Sounds good? <laughs> like hell you are. I, did you not just hear me? I'm better off by myself. Yeah, don't really give a shit. I mean, there's not really much you can do to stop us anyway. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, Mike, can we discuss this? Alright, listen. You can ditch us if you want. Fine. But we're gonna follow you. We made a pretty good team back there. Would it be so horrible if we stuck together? At least for a little while? Right, come on, Cassie. You said it yourself. It gets lonely out there sometimes, right? I mean, I love these guys. Gay? But, it'd be really nice to talk to somebody else for a change, instead of these two idiots all the time. Admit it. It'd be nice to have somebody watching your back for once. <laughs> Just for the record, this is really stupid. Shut up, cripple. Bastard. Can I just say something? No. What do you say? of a bitch. <sighs> All right, fine. <sighs> but if you guys are coming with me, you're following by my rules, okay? If you so much as look at me wrong, I'm cutting you guys loose. Fair enough. Sounds good. <sighs> All right, well, we're stuck together, so... What do we do about the cripple here? Bitch. We 
can't sit here for too long. I mean, God knows how long it's gonna be before that horde finds us. Where the hell are we gonna go? Any bright ideas? Truck's fucked. There's plenty of cars around. Does anybody know how to hotwire a car? I do. I know what you guys are thinking. Pervert. Ew, what? No, not like that. Then what? You think that's her, don't you? My girl next door? But it's not. Jackass is coming or what? Well, this is going to be fun. Get over it. Oh, it is.